Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel, The Growing Developer. In this video, we'll learn how we can fit uh, the text from a file. Well, this topic was, you know, suggested and requested by some uh, some of my viewers. So, thank you all who suggested this. And if you have some topic that you want me to discuss, you can always put that in comment. I'll surely try to make a video out of it as soon as possible. So, let me just show you a demo first. You can see our text here, beautiful quote here. And let me just show you something. Where is this text written? See? The text is nowhere to be seen. It is inside this text file and I'm fetching this text right away from this text file. So let's learn how we can fetch the data from this text file and hope you enjoy the video. Hope you like the video. Watch the video till end. Let's begin. The Growing Developer Okay, so this is the demo page that you will get whenever you create a new uh, Flutter project. So let's start by editing all this stuff because we'll be writing everything from scratch. So first we'll be importing our material package. So after that we have our entry point function that is our void main. And in this we'll have another function which is known as run app. Right? Inside this run app we have to pass a material app and inside this home property I'll pass a home page. You can see a red line because we haven't created a home page widget yet. So this time we'll be creating STFUL that is a stateful widget. You will have a flutter snip snippet for that. So it will create the stateful widget automatically and you just write the name here home page. Now we have a stateful widget that is where we can pass data and this is the state. We write our code inside this uh, class. So we'll return a scaffold from here and as an app bar, I'll just write an app bar, right? A simple uh, plain app bar, nothing, nothing with the title and just restart this app and you can see that we have our app running. We have a simple app bar with no title. So next part is our body part. Now inside this body, let me just enter a center widget and write text as place a text here at some places we are required to add a lengthy paragraphs of text so it's not feasible for us to write all the text inside this text widget or make another text and paste the text here so it's always good and better to have a text file and the text written inside that so now how we can fetch text from the file you can see that I have a text file. So how to display this text from this text file inside our Flutter app. So for that we have a process. It's actually same as how we add images to our uh, Flutter app. So make a folder inside your project app. So I'll just create a new folder directory and name it as maybe text files. Inside this text file, I'm going to paste this file. I just copy it from here and paste it here. Click OK. And you can see that we have our text file inside the project directory. Now, how to tell Flutter that we have a text file? For that, we go to pubspec.yaml and as we scroll down, after this uses material design write assets colon press enter don't mess with indentation right put a hyphen press space and then write the fol uh, folder name that is text files for in our case text files and after that put a slash now this slash uh, now this slash ensures that each file every file inside this folder can be referred right you can also write as text demo dot txt the full file name now by this you can only by this you will be only referring to one file and if you remove this you can refer to all the files in the flutter right run packages dot get from here stop the app and rerun the app again 
So as you can see that we have restarted our app and our app, app is up and running. Let's write the logic for fetching the details from this text file, right? So for that, we need to import a package. So write import, right services and you can see flutter slash services. After that, show root bundle. Why? Because we only need the root bundle module from this package. Now next is, let's write a, a function to fetch the details. Okay, how do we declare functions inside our Flutter application? We write the function name fetch uh, file data and after that parenthesis and curly braces. This is a function body. Here we'll write the code that will be executed whenever this function is called. For this function, I'll write the async keyword. Async means asynchronous. That means we don't want to disturb the execution of our Flutter application. And I want that this function be executed side by side with our Flutter execution, right? After this, I'll declare a string and string will be response text. So we'll write response text equals await. Await is, you know, essential, it is mandatory if you are using a synchronous function because it ensures which request to be awaited or which request has to be given a thread for execution. Right. After this, we'll write root bundle dot load string, and after this, we'll write the path for the file name. So the path is text files the folder name slash our file name. It is text demo dot txt. That's it. The, now this response text will be having the text inside this file. Uh, we are playing with stateful widget. So we need to have some sort of rebuilding stuff. We need to have a function that will rebuild the UI if this text is fetched. Because initially, let me just write string data equals to empty string. I'll pass data here. Now see, initially when this uh, Flutter app is built, this data will hold an empty value that means text will not be shown as long as the text is not not fetched from the file so by the time it will be showing empty string so we need a function so that it will rebuild the state automatically as soon as we get the text so for that we have a function on a set state right inside this set state function i'll write data equals to response text and inside this set state this whole UI will be built and data will be replaced with the response text that we'll get from this text file, right? Remember we talked about init state in our last video. So we have to declare our init state and inside this we'll be calling fetch file data. See that's where init state, init state comes into picture. See whenever you have to call some function, call some execution as soon as your app builds, that's where init state comes into picture. So when, now if I restart this app, you can see our text is shown, right? Now this text is a normal text widget, right? Nothing else you can style, uh, you can style this text as, uh, as you wish. So I'll just increase the size to 28. And you can also give some padding to this text. So I'll wrap this text with some padding. There you go. So now you can see that our code is very clean. Not a lot of text here. The text is all inside this text file. We can change the text here and you can see that. Let me just uh, remove this when and restart this app. And you can see that the when will be automatically removed from here also. So that's the beauty. You have to just change uh, text from here and And you can see that the change is reflected here on the UI also. But that's all for today. Hope you like this video. Hope you enjoy this video and learn something from this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you are having a nice day. It's a humble request. Stay at home. Stay safe. We'll get through this situation no matter what happens. And watch the videos. Right? That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.